What's up, everybody? Welcome back for another story time. It's like freaking one o'clock in the morning. There isn't much sunlight out, so I'm sorry for the uh, darkness going on here. Anyway, I just got done doing an impound. Why was it an impound? Well, let's just say the person that was driving the vehicle decided not to pay their registration. The car's like a year old. I got those paper plates that come with the dealer name. You know, I bought my car from Joe Schmo's dealership. Well, those are outlawed in California now. Uh, I passed a law January 1st requiring all new vehicle sales to have temporary license plates issued to them, which are paper plates with a temporary number. No more advertisement paper plates. So if you're driving around with all those things now, you're a giant ass target. Anyway, the person's driving around, they got paper plates on their car from whatever dealership they bought it from. Justin's phone. They get pulled over, naturally. Well, the registration expired six months ago. And they haven't renewed it. The person's like, well, can I just, you know, do you, I'll take care of it tomorrow? And they're like, yeah, no, we can take the car. If you're driving around with no, no registration, you're you, know, you didn't even put the license plates on the car that you got issued to it. You're like, you're just doing everything wrong. Because they're doing inventory, there's $300 shoes in the damn car. So it's like, look, bitch, you can buy $300 fucking shoes, but you can't pay your registration. You get a brand new car and you can't pay your fucking registration. What is wrong with you? Like, I don't think it's fair to everybody else that uh, has to pay registration every year, you know, pays their registration every year. I don't think it's fair to those people that you get, get to not pay your registration and get away with still driving your car. I mean, for, forget the fact that you didn't pay your tax. You didn't even bother to put your license plates on the car. I mean, come on, you're driving around with a big fuck you on the back of your car to everybody else out on the road that pays for their shit. So, car goes to the impound, you know, you can't get the car back until they pay the tags on it and then get a release. So, they're kind of screwed on that one. You know, they already, they already called, they're like, uh, what can I do to get my car? I want to get my car. I got to take it for registration. Well, you know, you already told me. Just trying to see if somebody else is not paying attention or what. I mean, people try that shit all the time. They call to see if we'll just, you know, make a mistake and give them their car back without, you know, them having to go pay all that shit. And it's like, no, dude, you got, you got caught. You got caught. You got to pay your shit. So, I guess the lesson here is, look, dude, you're gonna buy a car. You gotta pay for your. You gotta pay for your car. You gotta pay to put gas in your car, right? So you gotta pay your registration. It's a fee. Nobody likes paying registration. I mean, come on. It's expensive. But it gets even more expensive because dumb shits don't pay for theirs. And so the rest of us got a freaking fee for it. And it's like, fuck. I mean, come on. I've got a couple of trucks. I pay to the tune of somewhere about $1,000 every year in registration fees just across the board on my vehicles. Do I like doing it? No, but I do it because I know if I don't do it, the cops are going to take my shit. <laughs> so it's just, you know, I don't know. I fucking, I'll get, people, you just, people fucking blow me away sometimes. Like the just blatancy of like, you got caught and now you're going to fucking try to play everything in the world and try to get out of being in trouble. Look, own up to your shit. I love people that admit their wrongs own up to their responsibilities, handle their business. The people that drive me crazy are the people that don't take any responsibility at all and try to make it everybody else's problem or blame everybody else for it. No, well, it's cops. You know, the cops did it. They did this. They took my car. No, you got your own car and found it because you're a stupid freaking idiot. Plain and simple. So the most common reasons I get impounds. Common reasons, actually, I'm not, not even me. Most common reasons that vehicles get impounded is three things. Three things. 
most common reasons. Number one, probably being DUI, driving under the influence. It's like, seems to be like the plague around here nowadays. You know, and I, from what I heard, I heard the statistics are up this year, or higher this year than what were last year. So I guess, uh, you know, people aren't getting the idea yet. Number two is registration. Probably say that much. It's either registration or license. But yeah, number two and number three is registration and license. This is California. There are people here that aren't here that. Well, I don't actually. I don't even. I was gonna say that aren't here legally, but that doesn't even matter anymore. You know, I had to take my words back on that one because even if you're not here legally, you can still get a driver's license. <laughs> you know, they did pass that law. Allowing anybody, it doesn't matter if you're here legally or not, to at least get a driver's license. And the thought process behind that was if you get a driver's license, you're more likely to actually buy insurance and pay your registration. So you're not driving unlicensed and driving a car that has no insurance. So when you hit somebody, they're not screwed. That's the idea behind it. Uh, it's flawed logic, but, you know, I, whatever. Um... So now, yeah, now now there's no excuse to not having a license because anybody can get a driver's license now. It doesn't matter. There's no there's no hold. You just have to go pass the test. That's it. As long as you don't have restriction, you know, or you don't have a revocation that uh, is prohibiting you from getting a license, you can get a license. But you know, actually, the unlicensed driver thing, I noticed that one's that one's get that one's getting a little lower. So I'll call that number three because the registration is number two. You know, people are still doing it. It, it's been happening for years. People will not pay their tax and they will just leave the paper plates on their car or even put the paper plates back on their car to avoid paying the registration fees and get away with driving the car around until it gets impounded. Half the time, the car's a throwaway. There's a few things that cops look for on this. Okay, One, only a brand new car is going to have paper plates. At least back when they had paper plates with the dealership name on there, you know, the advertising plates. Generally, only brand new cars were going to have those. There was a few used car dealerships that would put, you know, Joe Blow's freaking auto sales on the back of the car. But for the most part, it was new cars. So the giveaway was you've got a piece of shit and you're driving it around with a paper plate on the back of it. It's an obvious car that doesn't, it shouldn't have paper plates. You know, it's an old car, it's beat up, there's damage. There's just signs when you look at the car that tell you this is not a new car. So, yeah, that's, <laughs> that was the first giveaway. Plus, the other thing was people were using, you know, they were hiding their registration to go do crime and they were throwing paper plates on the car. Or they were stealing the car and throwing paper plates on it. Since there was no license plate, it was hard to run the information on the car and find out right away. You know, if cops drive cops drive by, they routinely run license plates and check vehicles. And even cop cars nowadays have license plate readers on them to check for stolen vehicles as they're driving around. So, you know, people would steal cars and put the paper plates on the back. Well, guess what? California fixed that problem. And, you know, I've, I've had plenty of uh, cars that have been impounded where they've had the license plate on the car with the sticker for the registration year that was three years back with a paper plate over it. They didn't even take the time to take the license plate off the car. <laughs> uh, you just rip the paper plate off. Hey, there's a license plate. So anyway, I'm rambling on now. So let's figure it out. Uh, make a quick story here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. What do you got to lose? You know, subscribe. That way you'll be a be definitely a valued follower. Um, any which way, like I said, thanks guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all on the next one.